energy sources by uh, UK. Uh, crude oil, it's a uh, fossil fuel, meaning it was made by living organisms uh, millions of years ago. Uh, fossil fuels take a lot of time to produce and uh, are non-renewable. And it's this, uh, and science, some scientists have predicted that it'll run out in uh, about a century or two. And uh, it's a sticky black uh, liquid that's uh, separated using fractional distillation, which means it's uh, heated and refined, and it can be heated to uh, different temperatures to form different uh, products. Okay. And then uh, for infrastructure... Wait, can you go back? Yeah. Can you read some of the... I can't see them. Can you read some of those products that you can get off of different... Uh, gasoline, which makes up about 20% of all the products from uh, crude oil, and uh, diesel fuel and heating oil, which makes up 10%, and jet fuel, which makes up 4%, heavy fuel oil, which makes about 2%, propane, 1.5%, asphalt and road oil, which makes up 1%, and uh, petrochemical feedstocks, 1%, and then other products. Okay, thanks. Good. And then for infrastructure, uh, you need some form of transportation for the oil, uh, ships, and uh, <coughs> pipelines. We need more pipelines and less uh, reservations, you know. <laughs> and uh, you need electrical power generation plants and a refinery and water. And some of the improvements they're making to uh, crude oil is 3D printing. At factories, when parts break down, you can make them at the factory which makes part cost cheaper, and uh, there's motors with uh, more torque and less speed, making, uh, making it more power efficient and cheaper. And uh, hydrators are becoming water free, so there's less water cost too. Let's give oil a round of applause. No, she is done.